What's going on, Fall? Not much. Hey, thanks for coming on to the channel today. We appreciate it. My pleasure, you. my pleasure. You got a pretty crazy garage, man. Thank you. Yeah, so yeah. tell me a little bit about your GT3. GT3 is a 2015. Yeah. Um, pretty much stock besides uh, suspension. I lowered it a little bit. Some sure. wheels, some BBS, E88s. All, right. All right. Nice little roll cage, GMG, and uh, GMG oh, exhaust leads. That doesn't sound stock at all, man. Pretty simple. <laughs> Hardly stock. Yeah. Uh, the thing sounds incredible. Um, Thank you. Yeah, how'd you kind of, I mean, talk to me about the, the inspiration for your parts. Uh, you know, I've always been a Porsche guy, mm -hmm. so I wore it for a while now. And sure. I wanted something, you know, I've always wanted a car with a little cage, but I didn't, I'm not really tracking the car or anything like that, but love the look. Sure. I'm a all show kind of guy, so <laughs> right. had to have a cage in there. Sound, you know, everybody's got to have sound. Mm -hmm. Got to have the exhaust in there. Definitely. So exhausts are hard to find for that car, so I just decided to do the delete, the GMG uh, muffler delete, and I think it sounds great. So save some money besides going a full exhaust system, and for sure, for happy sure. with what I got. Yeah, definitely. I mean, GMG, do they give any power gains with the, with the muffler delete? You know, it's probably negligible mm -hmm. at that point. You know, but it's all sound. I think. You know, that's, that's fair. <laughs> I mean, sound yeah. it does deliver. For yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Um, you know, how long have you had the car? Shoot, coming on three and a half years now. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Three and a half years. How'd you do, how'd you kind of settle on the nine one dot one generation? Uh, at the time, the prices for the dot two were just a little too high, sure. and because at the time it was just barely coming out. Yeah. So everybody wanted to mark up on those things, oh, yeah. and sure. yeah, and I didn't want to pay all that. I found a good deal on this one in Scottsdale, Arizona. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah, and had it shipped over here. And, good deal. Yeah. Did you buy it uh, after going out and seeing it, or you buy it? No, I bought it sight unseen. Wow. I, right. I had the car. It was at Scottsdale Ferrari, and then um, I had the, an indie shop. So I forget the name of the shop, and uh, I had it sent over there to have an inspection. Gotcha. They gave me a full report, and they gave me a thumbs up, and I said, oh, you know what, it's fine. I was actually planning to fly down there and drive it back up, Sure. but I missed my flight. That morning. <laughs> <laughs> so I kind of screwed up on that one, so I just ended up having them ship it to me. I said, screw it, and I don't want to mess with it anymore. That's fair. You yeah. know, uh, I kind of did something similar with my 996. No. I bought that from a guy in Virginia, mm. and basically the entire Facebook community vouched for him, but you know, I definitely, uh, that was a hard pill to swallow. Yeah, yeah. Buying a car sat unseen. Yeah, so. it's hard. Yeah, and I actually, I, I had an independent shop do a PPI. I didn't have a Porsche dealership do a mm -hmm. PPI, so I really took a big chance. I think you did a better job than I did. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, how's the car been for you? So far, so good. Yeah. I mean, I haven't put a, a lot of miles on it yet, but sure. I mean, I drove it hard for whatever I had it for, and I, I've had a lot of fun. You know, it's everything I expected. Sure. The the screaming of the nine thousand RPM is the the selling point for me. Oh, for sure, man. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I think that that motor is absolutely legendary. I mm -hmm. mean, is that still considered a Metzger motor? It is not. Uh, this is uh, this is post Metzger. I think gotcha. the nine sevens were the last of the Metzgers. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. Okay. So they had the fourteens. They had issues with the uh, the fire that was infamous, I guess, during that sure. time. Sure. But the fifteens by that time they already cleared it up, and oh, gotcha. they still offer the. The extended warranty and all that, ten years, whatever. So I have a little peace of mind. So oh, that's great. That. That's yeah. great. And yeah. it just comes like a, as like an afterthought, like beyond the warranty. That correct. Like, it's gotcha. no matter what, it's ten years. So oh, that's great. Yeah, that's yeah. great. So, so that's good. Still, still, still some coverage there. Yeah, yeah. Um, any thought that you'd maybe switch over to the newer generation? I am. I'm in the market right now. Really? I can't make up my mind. Uh, I'm thinking 992, but you know we don't even know what that looks like yet. Sure. I was thinking GT2 RS. I'm sure. all over the place. So. Who knows where I'll end up, but definitely a Porsche and That's definitely a 911, yeah. Definitely a 911, yeah. I gotcha. So yeah, we've, I mean, we've seen some 992.2 renders. Mm -hmm. and I mean, there was that track meal not that long ago that they mm -hmm. had some pictures for. Um, big car, right? Definitely it big. got bigger. Yeah. I came from a, or I, my favorite is a 997. Sure. Is, that's my golden year. Body size, mm -hmm. body looks, everything was just perfect for me. Sure. But the 991 was a good jump from the 997 and the 992 I think is even bigger which is getting out of control right now you know it's kind of so I don't know you know yeah let's see how that goes I think Porsche is moving to the generation of big booties yeah so. yeah they love them big booty hosts they like big, <laughs> that's right well I think uh today's gonna be kind of fun we're gonna we're gonna take a look around the car a little bit more mm -hmm. maybe you can kind of walk us through some of the special things about this car definitely um and uh, we'll take it out for a quick drive yeah and you know I can kind of See what this thing sounds like from the from the inside. Yes. Awesome. Excited. So Fong, kind of walk me through a little bit more about this car. So basically, I've had the uh, car wrapped in uh, a matte white film just to cover the white to give that frosty look. Sure. 
had I done an Imperial Works. Um, stock suspension lowered, and I'm on BBS E88s here, as Perfect. you can see. It fits the car super well. Yeah, I think it gives it that motorsport look. Definitely. Tunes it up nicely. Uh, roll cage, GMG. Perfect. Really clean look, I think it. You know, obviously, I'm a big fan of uh, color matching. Yes, very cage. important. It's a me. really nice touch. <laughs> it had to match. Yes. yes. Um, back a little bit. Obviously, you can't see the GMG um, muffler deletes. No, we can't. But uh, definitely, uh, something about your your license plate. Uh, it's Fong Pei, which is a play on my uh, my name, which is Fong, yes. and uh, in Chinese it means fart. <laughs> So, <laughs> actually, great touch. That's yeah, a, that's yeah, a, a little personalization for me. Yes, yes. And uh, blacked out emblems. Right? Yeah, yeah, blacked out everything. I got the uh, uh, Sharkworks Shark mufflers tips. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, and basically, that's really it. Fantastic, fantastic. Yeah, yeah the car comes out, uh, it, came, it came out really well. I mean, Thank you. Really, really a, a big fan of this. So, so let's pull it out and we'll, we'll kind of take a look at it from the outside. Definitely quite snug. Yeah, get used to it. <laughs> I'm bigger than you, baby. Don't worry. <laughs> so, PDK transmission. Mm -hmm. Only option uh, for these years. Makes sense. Yeah, the the dot two was the, one, the first one that bring the manual transmission back, right? They brought it back, yeah. Gotcha. With the dot twos. Gotcha. Which has always been on my mind to maybe get into that. A dot two with a manual. Yeah, you know, I have too many cars that are auto. Sure, sure. Well, I mean, the the Dot 2, was it in, available in all trims or was it just the Touring that came with the manual? All trims. All trims, I yeah. Realize. yeah. Okay. The Tourings are ridiculously more high. Yeah. Of the just how linear it is, mm. it's, you know, and I, I, I kind of 
you know, I say this maybe a, a little bit sacrilegiously, it feels almost like a, like an old Honda where, you know, that the second set of, second, the second set of cams kick in and, you know, almost like a VTEC kicked in for No, no, a, no I, I get it. You know, you, Porsche, you know, I'm a Honda guy myself, you know, sure, I'm sure. start there. Uh, I think um, the NA, it's hard to beat, you know, you, you don't get, the turbos are, you know, hard to beat because of the power, but then sure. something about the feeling of driving in a car, yes. it's just a different different world. And I think that's why, you know, I mean, we, we our, I prefer the GT3 over, say, the turbo, which is roughly the same ballpark price area sure, and all that. Sure, sure. But I wanted that more motorsport, more loud, more, you know, high revving, sure. just linear pulling car, you know, where yeah. it wasn't a surge all of a sudden. Yeah, this this does feel a lot more raw, and I'm sure it, it's probably uh, a lot better on the track. You mm. know, and you don't have to worry about the the, the boost lag and kind of all that stuff kind of kicking in all at once and trying to kill you. Uh,
probably doing what it's supposed to do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Take the kids to school. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> How about you, VJ? Can you get back to the Porsche anytime soon? Well, <laughs> any, as you guys will come to learn about me, uh, I tend to tend to buy the cars that are hated. So <laughs> Porsche may be a little too loved for me, but honestly, yeah, I, at some point I will be back in a Porsche. All right. Um, I, I can't say what it will be, but um, you know, I am a fan of uh, Porsches, supercars, and hypercars, and I think that at some point, if I ever get into a, a position to own one of them. GT not out of the question. Oh, yes. Um, if we ever get, we have the means to own a, a 918, a 918 would really be the, the dream. So, yes. <laughs> Who knows, right? Talking dirty to me right now. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows what life has in for, for us, right? Yeah. That's the fun part about life. That's right. Well, Fong, listen, I gotta say thank you so much for, for having me in this thing, man. This thing is an absolute just joy to, to be in, to drive, to, to ride in. Yeah, I can definitely see why why your decision wasn't that hard to, to, to buy this car. Oh yeah, give me an excuse to drive it, you know. Yeah, it's just thank you, know. you for letting me take it out. It's been a while. Yeah, oh I need my to gosh, get it out. you know, anytime you're looking for a reason to drive, you know, just give me a call. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I'm I'm hoping to, to kind of feature some more of your cars. I mean, you have a really really nice garage. I, I, I like the the variety, and you have some cars that are really performance cars. So yeah, it's kind of a uh, weird weird little collection but oh, hardly weird i think <laughs> i mean any any car guy that knows cars will, will understand why your collection makes sense i mean 300 zx 17 comp uh, em1 civic si i mean all these cars i mean for for the generations that you're talking about all were the you know, for, for to some degree the, the standard yeah yeah right? they were the standard for performance and i think that you know i mean no nobody's going to argue with the with the numbers of an M2 comp, no one's gonna have to argue with the numbers of a 911 GT3, you know, or a, you know, the 300ZX is so much out of its time, the yeah. M1 is so much out of its time. So I think, uh, you know, we'll have to save that for another episode. We <laughs> hoping to, to bring you back. And I'll be very happy to be back with that. And definitely, guys, I'm 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 so happy that you guys tuned in for this uh, for this video today. And if you like this video, definitely subscribe, ring that notification bell, and uh, I'm hoping that you guys can bring some more uh, automotive joy to you guys and. All over the all over California, definitely. But if you have a chance, come out to, Cal the, to Central Valley, California. We're hoping that we can see some more car uh, events and car enthusiasts-related stuff. So, um, if you guys want more of these videos or if you like them, definitely leave a comment below. And uh, any cars you want to see in the future, I'll try to get them. Awesome, right, guys. Take care. Bye. Bye.